last three seasons. The top three seeds were all bounced out of the tournament early in a wide open field. It's come down to the Pac-10 champ and the Big Ten champ to decide it. And the Cal Bears in the dark jerseys get the first point. And immediately we see the big gun for Cal, Tara Murray, number four on your screen there. She is going to be matched up against the other player we've already talked about, Blair Brown, the best blocker for Penn State. one nothing Murray so far. Murray, perhaps the most improved player in the country this year, averaging five and a half kills per set in the NCAA tournament. And the response from the three-time All-American Blair Brown. Brown at 6'5 will be the tallest player in the match tonight. And she has spent much of the season correcting for sets that are going a little different positions because the setter, Kristen Carpenter for Penn State, still learning her position. First year she's played it. She is right alongside another 6'5 player and Katie Slay, and they get the triple block. And watch how Penn State gets three blockers up. They want to shut Tara Murray down. Absolutely for Cal because she hits over, takes, has taken over 40% of the swings in this NCAA tournament. Murray had 23 kills the other night in the semis. And Murray with the hitting error pushes it wide, point Penn State. And Murray in this tournament has been unstoppable. On the year, she's doubled her hitting efficiency from last year at 320. But in this tournament, 354, very poor start. She's hitting negative now. One kill, two errors. The serve from the freshman, Deja McClendon. Shannon Hawari has it stuffed right back. Penn State showing why they are one of the top blocking teams in the country. And that's been a major part of this dynasty over the last four years. And the slam in the middle from Hawari. Twice, number 16 there for Penn State. Katie Slay showing a little impatience. She, she put it over too easily to the other team. She should put it high on her own side of the net. And then her team can play, run a new offensive set. Carly Lloyd back to serve. The 5'11 senior from Bonzo, California. Sixth all-time in Pac-10 history in assists and the kill for Brown. And again, we see the Brown-Murray matchup. Now Brown hitting right off the left hand of Tara Murray there. They're going to be going at each other. Both teams wanted to get their biggest gun up to the net early. Both for Penn State Brown and then Murray for Cal. Lloyd, the back set. Corey Johnson through the block, but dug up by Kristen Carpenter. Free ball, Cal. Lloyd, again to Johnson, dug up twice in a row by Carpenter. Murray against three blockers, but she slides it by. Good choice by Murray. She didn't have a good swing. She had six hands up in front of her, and the block ends up too far outside, leaving her some space there. And that is something that she has done very well this season, is be patient and keep the ball in play more. Carpenter, the quick set. Ari Wilson pushed it wide, point Cal. Even at four, early in this first set, it's best three of five. Each set to 25 points, have to win by two. If we go to a fifth deciding set, it would be to 15. Ariel Scott with the kill. We saw in the national semifinal two days ago that both Ariel Scott and Deja McClendon, the two left side outside hitters for Penn State, on a roll. They hadn't been clicking together all season, both freshmen. The freshman class collectively 24 kills and just two errors in the semis, and Scott attacks the overpass for Penn State. And Blair Brown back behind the service line and the semis three aces. And uh, another critical element of the dynasty has been their ability to serve tough. Hawari with another kill. We talked to Coach John Dunning from Stanford. He played all four of these teams this season, and he said Penn State is an underrated serving team, the best serving team they face. They also don't get as much credit as they should for how they pass, and watch, they'll pass with two here. A pretty good pass by Dorico there. Ari Wilson between the blockers for the kill. Robin Rostratter not only wearing the different jersey as the libero, they cannot attack but also the headgear due to concussion that she suffered last season and became very comfortable playing with it, so now wears it as a precautionary measure. 
Yeah, yeah she had a couple of concussions in club, then one early in the Cal season, and a late one off the knee of a teammate prevented Rostrader from participating at all in last season, and they got to play four matches in the NCAA tournament. So very happy, she's very happy to be out on the court now. Got a mouth guard too, ready for anything. Deja McClendon with the kill, a hot start for the freshman. The Sprint Center in Kansas City for the national championship match. The three-time defending national champion Penn State Nittany Lions. One of their seniors, Ari Wilson, back to serve. The senior class trying to finish out their career's perfect. 24-0 in the postseason with four titles. And they get the block. The Cal Bears, the fourth year in a row they are playing Penn State in the tournament. They're looking for their first win over the Nittany Lions and their first national championship. Penn, Penn State eliminated them each of the last three years, but never have they played in the final. Cal getting farther than it's ever gone in the tournament before. And the Bears get the kill. They have been waiting all year long for another shot at the Nittany Lions. Both of them breezed rather unexpectedly through the semifinals, so they are well rested and ready to go tonight. Beth Mowens along with Kurt Karai here inside the Sprint Center with over 13,000 plus. Robin Rostrader digs it up. Murray blocked. Shouldn't hit it the big sleigh. Got to go over the smaller blocker, number five, Carpenter. McClendon tools the block. Point Penn State. That's her second kill of the night. The first title on the line for the Cal Bears. Penn State. They were the first to win three in a row and now really trying to secure their place in history with a fourth straight. Sleigh slowed it down. Lloyd, out to Murray, the All-American down the line. Deja with another kill for Penn State. Timeout called by Cal, and a 12-7 lead for the Nittany Lions. But a Penn State team that has not lost the opening set of a match since early October. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship is presented by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Inside the Sprint Center, Beth Mullins along with three-time national champion Karch Karai. And Karch, this remarkable story for the Penn State seniors continues. They have lost four All-Americans in the last two years. They are now with the U.S. national team. That's how good they've been. And now this class trying to leave its own legacy. And they have another couple of first-teamers who will probably go on to the USA program also. Amazing all of the talent that's come out of here. But four of them gone, and still they're in this tournament. A lot of people at the start of the season would have been very surprised if you'd have told them Penn State would be in the finals again. It was hard enough for them to win three. That was an all-time record. Now they're going for four. There is the architect, Russ Rose, in his 32nd season. He has a fourth title from 1999. He is the winningest coach by win percentage in the country and has the best winning percentage of anybody in the national semis and the finals. On the other side for the Cal Bears, and Rich Feller breaking the huddle in his 12th season, the national coach of the year this year, and for the first time, they are champions of the Pac-10 Conference and playing in the final. All these teams with national, national coach of the year, national player of the year, his setter, Carly Lloyd, national freshman of the year for Penn State, Deja McClendon. All this talent has led these two teams to this epic battle where Cal wanted, itched during the NCAA mm -hmm. selection show for this matchup. After this Penn State team put them out three times, they would like nothing better to, them, to win their first title ever against Penn State and stop this dynasty. Story so far, Penn State hitting 500, Cal hitting 100. As Cat Brown gets the kill, once again, your hitting percentage, you want, uh, want it to be like a batting average, 300 is awfully good. And Cal, much different than in the semifinals. They have very few errors. They already have four hitting errors just halfway through this first set. 
Deja McClendon gets stuffed. Tara Murray, the 6'3 junior from El Cerrito, California, sends it back. The top players in the game, including Tara Murray, they're up there touching around 10 feet. That's equivalent to grabbing the rim on the basketball court. The net is uh, around seven feet, four inches high. And women's college volleyball. Kathy Quillico tracks it down. McClendon outside the antenna, Point Cal. Penn State got the matchup it wanted. It had Blair Brown hitting one-on-one -on -one against Carly Lloyd, but she was unable to win that matchup. Rally continues. Penn State, uh, uh, sorry, Cal earns the point. Brown serves. And pushed across by Shannon Polari, the 6'2 sophomore from Plano, Texas. And if you have to look at position by position, Carly Lloyd blocking here in the foreground has a big advantage. She's been setting for four years an All-American setter on the other side of the net. Five foot six, Kristen Carpenter just learning the trade. It's like taking a safety in football around September 1st and saying, hey, it's not working out with our QB. Would you try it out? <laughs> and she is. She was recruited as a defensive specialist, and here she is leading her team. But some of her sets are going to be inconsistent. We saw that one play ago. That much better location that time for McClendon's put away. Deja McClendon, the national freshman of the year. She will come out here for a serving special. She get 12 substitutions per set. Ali Longo, a freshman, on to serve. Lloyd looks to Murray. That's perhaps the most lethal combo in the country all year long. And Murray has transformed herself from her first two years. Really sat down, talked to her parents, and just said, I don't feel like I'm getting as much as I can out of myself. I should be playing better. And she turned the things around, started paying it much more attention to her nutrition, to her diet, working out more, and she has doubled her hitting percentage, her hitting efficiency from her sophomore year at around 160 to this year at over 321, and in the tournament, hitting a cool 350. Whistle at the net, point Penn State. We're called for the back row attack, I believe. Yeah, if you have a back row player and the other side of the net hits it into her, she becomes an illegal blocker. The ace from Dorico, and after a 4-0 Cal run, four straight for Penn State. And we may be watching the best server in the country right here. And Alyssa Dorico in pressure situations in this her fourth finals appearance goes with the off-speed serve gives murray a chance to swing away that in theory should be penn state's best blocking combination the two seniors wilson and brown next to each other but murray wins the matchup she's cleaned it up she had a couple early errors and now back on track for cal up by Carly Lloyd. Dug up by Longo. Here comes Blair Brown. Dean again. Off the block wide. Point Bears. Dean, the 6'3 freshman from Dallas. Double digit kills in six of her last eight matches. Including 14 in the semis against Southern California. What has she come on in this tournament? They, playing very much more like an overclassman than her, her freshman years. As the season's gone on, she's gotten stronger and stronger. Cal, now she's a little playing out of her position too. She's more, a more natural opposite player, but had a huge match against Stanford to help Cal win the Pac-10. The first time they've ever done that. The two outsides were dominant in the semis with 37 kills as Wilson and that slide behind that she loves, the middle, going to the outside. Coach Feller was even saying, I may regret saying this, but I think it's harder to win the Pac-10 than it is to win the NCAA tournament. Well, he did one, and if that was harder, I guess he should do this tonight, right? He has put together a, an incredible run. 
long on that swing, Point Penn State. But since Rich Feller has been in Berkeley, a complete turnaround. They didn't have a winning season in the 90s. Nine straight trips now to the NCAA tournament under Coach Feller. Oh. Miscommunication for Cal. Not a good sign for Cal, and that's a sign of a team that's never been in the final. Penn State has a lot of players who've experienced this utter confusion you do not want to have. Any decision is better than no decision, and no decision was made on that play. Long way to go for Lloyd. Good cover by Ross Strata. Ariel Scott stuffed. That little play by Ross Rutter saves the point and often goes unnoticed. It's like battling for the defensive rebound and then gets her team the opportunity to win the point later with Johnson on the block. But it starts with helping out your hitter and being ready when they get blocked. Ross Rutter, the 5'11 sophomore from Carlsbad, California. Johnson had a little trouble so far, getting hitting out and then hitting. She was licking her chops on that one. A wide open put away, but hit it too sharply down. Again, don't need to make the great play or the perfect play. Just need to make the team that makes more good plays over longer periods of time is going to win that, this match tonight. Oh, well, speaking of good plays, Dorico able to keep it alive. And then Blair Brown miss hits at point Cal. They are down three in the race to get to 25. Have to win by two here in the opening set of the match. Both teams, not a particularly clean match. It's a close match, but not particularly well played with mistakes like that. McClendon got it down. Deja McClendon with her fourth kill. Make it five now for Deja. Freshman out of Louisville. She was in Tampa in the stands watching last year's final. Now out there on the court for Russ Rose as the Nittany Lions try and grab their fourth title in a row. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship is presented by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We'll pick you up. fitting of Russ Rose and the Penn State Nittany Lions. The most difficult challenge in all of sports may not be rising to the top, but staying there. With a record three straight titles and now a chance at a fourth, Penn State can prolong the dynasty another year. That 109 match win streak, the NCAA record for women's college athletics that came to an end earlier this year, but uh, just an incredible run that they have put together and still currently on a 23 match NCAA tournament win streak and longtime former Minnesota coach Mike Hebert has always summed up the dynasty best I didn't said you know even though they've lost four All-Americans and they're not as good as they were the last couple of years winning is in their DNA and they're the only players in the country that know how to win a national championship and have done it and they have proved it's in their DNA to get to this position of course, people realize they didn't have the toughest road here. Yeah. They're regional, <laughs> and, it, and, that, and they're drawing. Even Coach Rose would say, hey, we know we got a good draw. Yeah. Some years you get a good one, some years you don't. They've had some, what they felt was bad draws in other years, but it got better as it went along. The carnage in the other parts of the bracket, the seeds one, two, and three going down. The swing and the kill for Penn State. Yeah, they were kind of hanging out. They're watching number one Florida lose in the third round, and then Nebraska out in the third round, and then Stanford out in a region final. And all along the way, you saw their confidence building. Hey, maybe we can steal one that we didn't expect on getting. Kind of playing with house money, and they're in a good position at 22-18. Nice play by Murray to... Push that one over the top of the block. That's a sign of the growth of Tara Murray in terms of, that's her fifth kill, in terms of her variety of shots, different speeds, different locations. A year ago, she probably would have tried to crush that, get blocked or hit out, but patience, she keeps it in play and gets the bonus of the kill. 
Brown with the kill. Good recognition by Blair Brown. The Libero, Ross Stratter, was off the court. Of course, she can't serve for both middles. So Kat Brown had to serve and play defense. If Brown sees that, she's going to tip that way. McClendon to serve. They are two points away from winning the first set. Service error, point Cal. Cal in a position, Karch, conversely, that I think every other team wanted to be in. They wanted Penn State to keep winning so they could be the team to knock the top dog off the perch. Texas wanted to be that team in the semis, came out flat and never recovered. There's a chance for Murray on the outside against Brown. Kill for Scott. Set point, Penn State. Look for the ball to come back out to the player who's taken the most big swings for Murray. She makes the pass, not a good one, three persons up. Chance for Penn State, McClendon out of the back. Kept alive by Lloyd. Blair Brown deep in the corner for the kill. Her fifth of the first set and the three-time defending champs grab the early lead in the national championship match. Blair Brown returning the favor, the deep tip. We just saw Tara Murray put one down. Got to be ready for that play. Cal's gonna make that, have to make that play in set number two.